Hi there folks, welcome to Dunsey's Guitar World. What's on your mind today Dunsey? Well, funny you should ask. I did an Alex Harvey lesson the other week for... What was Alex Harvey's song I did? It was... Uh, Approximately 10 hours later. Um, the following day. Midnight Moses. God, Midnight Moses, which will be up there somewhere. And somebody said, can you do a lesson for Snakebite? And I thought to myself... Yes, yes I can do a lesson for Snake Bite. There's not a lot in this song, Snake Bite. It's from the album, Tomorrow Belongs to Me. Another classic, another classic from the Sensational Alex Harvey Band. And as I always say when I pull these out, the albums, when I pull these albums out, is, uh, I mean look at that, it's just brilliant. When you, when you see stuff like this, that's, that's what records are about, you know, it's not downloading MP3s. Nothing wrong with downloading MP3s, but you need something like this, you know, something you can hold in your hand and, and read. Okay, so here we are, Snakebite, written by the sensational Alex Harvey. I'm going to turn his picture to the wall with a little bit of boogie that ain't all. Hang his body on the door with aching heart and a little bit more. Snakebite. I'm not doing the solo on this mainly because... Well, the main reason is I can't play like Zales. That was such a good guitar player. And the sound he gets on this, I mean, it sounds like he's playing through... I don't know if he was using Marshalls. I'm sure I read somewhere he was using High Watts, but it sounds like it's turned up to 11, like in the studio, and there's in the feedback, and he's, you know, he's got such great control over the feedback and, and the bends. So I'm not doing the solo. I'm not doing the solo. I'm just doing the simple verse and chorus. And this is one of these songs where it's, it's not so much... The notes you play, it's, it's how you play them. So the lesson I will be doing it on my, my recently acquired Fender American Vintage 64 reissue. Nice guitar this. Now like all my lessons, I'm not here to show you the note perfect rendition on the album. I play in a 70s covers band, so when I learn a song, I learn it to the point where I'd be quite happy to play this in front of an audience. So what you're learning here today should get you through a jam session with your good friends, maybe a couple of beers, turn up and they say, let's play Snakebite by the sensational Alex Harvey band. So there's not a lot in this song, as I say, let's look at the intro. So the intro is only two notes, it's the ninth fret of the D string, and the seventh fret of the G string. <laughs> So you play the ninth fret, you're almost like you're using pinch harmonic as well. Over to the seventh fret of the G, bend it a bit. Quite staccato. I'll show you my other hand. I'll try and get both hands in at the same time, save me a lot of editing later on. So I will just play the notes of the verse, as I say, there's not a lot in it. So it's the 7th fret of the A string, the E note, bend it slightly, to the 5th fret of the D, bend that slightly as well. Over to the 7th fret of the bottom E. So it's 7th fret of the E to the 5th fret of the A, back to the 7th fret of the E, back to the 5th fret of the A. To the 7th fret of the E, bend it slightly. Back to the 5th fret of the D. Now the thing is, when you're doing this, it's all about the notes that you're not playing, if that makes sense. In between each part, Sal does this, he's like he lifts his hands off the strings, so you're choking the strings out. So it's very loose on this hand. 
That's the sound you're looking for. Now occasionally you hear him play a chord which sounds to me like he's playing the 7th fret of the A string, the E note, and the 7th fret of the G string, these two notes. And you're dampening the string, dampening the D string, so it's like this. You could play 7th fret of the E, 6th fret of the D, 7th fret of the G if you wanted to play that chord. We'll play that all together. Most important thing is keep your knee moving. Now into the chorus. Now I'm going to play the simple version of the chorus. There's a lot of keyboards on the on the album version, and I couldn't find a live version. So the notes are. Let's zoom in a bit here. So it's the seventh fret of the A string. <laughs> 6th fret of the D string and the 9th fret of the G string You can just play it like a chord Move that down 2 frets to the 5th fret of the A 4th fret of the D and the 7th fret of the G So it's 2 parts Then slide in from the 3rd fret, get on here, 3rd fret of the A string to the 4th fret and then hit the 2nd fret of the G string and finish with this. So that's 2 on the A, 3 on the bottom E, bend it slightly to an open E. So play that slowly. both hands in. Get my head in here. Now if you wanted to be fancy you could maybe hybrid pick this and play the notes on the G string with the other pinky like this. So if you wanted to be even fancier, you could, instead of playing the notes on the G string for those first two chords, you could put the note, same fret, but on the B string, so it's... If you want to fancy. But you can just play it simple. Back to the verse. That's it. Now the solo, like I say, I can't play it, but it sounds like Zal's bending way, way up here. He's got such a wide vibrato as well, like he's bending up. And so on and so forth. There you go. Very easy guitar lesson for Snakebite by the sensational Alex Harvey Band from the album. Tomorrow belongs to me. Like all the sensational Alex Harvey band albums. Absolutely brilliant. And that was taught on my my 2016 Fender American 
vintage 64 reissue Telecaster. Now I'll say one thing about these guitars, I mean they are fantastic, they've got tiny frets, tiny tiny vintage frets and a seven and a quarter radius so it's uh, takes a wee bit of getting used to, I can't do my big bends on on this but uh, yeah what I wanted to tell you was uh, it's easy to take a chip out of these, I mean I just I knocked it very slightly earlier and I took a blooming big chunk out there, look, look at that. If you can focus on that, Mr. Camera thing. Anyway, if it doesn't focus, I'll show you a photograph. And there's a couple of chips at the back when I got it, so they're made of very, 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 very thin lacquer and it's very easy to chip these. I think the theory is that they will have my little cat making a noise here, look at my little cat. Look, sleeping. Um, there was a focus, focus Dunsey, focus, um, focus camera, focus Dunsey. Yes, I think the theory would be that you can. These will look very vintage within about three months. So, uh, so easy to take a chunk out, but it's great. It's nice playing guitar. Very light, very resonant. So, once again, folks, thank you very much for watching. It's a privilege and a pleasure bringing you content on Dunsey's Guitar World. Just for now.